All right, today's video is about rear brakes. I am not going to show you how to change them. There's two very good videos out there. Uh, this is a 2015 Nissan Micra. And uh, the back brakes on this side were not adjusting. So um, I found out that the self-adjusting mechanism was seized. So I've cleaned it all out, freed it up, got everything working. We're going to do the other side now. And if it's all seized up, we're going to show you the ratchet. Uh, we're going to show you how it's supposed to work. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, the drum is off. There's your ratchet right there. Let's get a screwdriver here and show you. Your self-adjusting ratchet is uh, this thing right here. So I'm going to give it a try and I'll be right back. Okay. All right, I've just checked this ratchet. It is seized as well. Uh, when you turn this here, watch what happens. You're going to see this entire shaft try to rotate. See it? It's trying to rotate. And it is seized up. This shaft is inside this cylinder. This cylinder is not supposed to move. The shaft here is supposed to move inside it. So this one's seized up as well. Go. Alright, so here is the problem. <clears throat> so as you use your brakes, this is supposed to turn. This gets longer. This whole mechanism right here and this are separate. But look, they are totally seized. I should be able to turn that by hand and I can't. So we're going to put a wrench on here, I put another wrench on here, I'm going to turn it and free it up. Uh, then I'm going to have to spray it with rust check and put it back together. We're on? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I had to take it completely apart again just like on the other side. I had to get a wrench. I'll show you what we're doing here. You're going to put like a pair of channel locks on there. Actually, hang on a sec here. I had a pair of pliers on this. Because this cylinder is not supposed to move. Put this on here. I had to knock it a few times with a hammer. Just to try and break the bond. But now look. Whoops, sorry. I'm doing it wrong again. <laughs> it's still tight. But can you see? There she goes. Now it's moving. That's And it's still extremely stiff. So we're going to work that free. You can see all the corrosion on the left hand side. It's all white. So we're going to break all that free we're gonna spray it up with a rust check put it back together that's how it's supposed to turn okay we on okay so here is your self-adjusting bracket back together uh, it faces in this direction this is on the outside if you have it this way it's wrong you gotta have it this way it sits over like this anyway let's pretend now that this is pushing up this part is pushing against a brake shoe watch this this whole shaft should turn to adjust. Watch this. Here we go. See that? See how the whole thing's turning now? And actually, it is actually self adjusting. It's getting longer. So, as the brake shoes wear down and this adjusts, it makes them longer. But see now how the this part is inside the cylinder and it's turning freely. That is how it's supposed to work. You ready? Go. Okay, we finally have it back together. It's all cleaned off. Now watch the mechanism here. As I'm, I, need to, I need to lengthen it to adjust the shoes. So uh, remember, this does it automatically and I believe it works when you use your handbrake. But watch now. You're gonna see the whole thing turn. There it goes. See this piece is turning here. This is a threaded uh, rod, and uh, oh, it'll take me, oh my god, it's going to take me forever to do this, so we won't show the whole thing on video, but you might be able to see right here, the gap is increasing. i got to see about five full threads until it's fully adjusted, but that is how it's supposed to work, and that is it.